Hello everyone, Rabbi Abe here. It's moving day. I'm up in Toronto. We're changing apartments. Look at the place. It's almost empty. We're getting there. Now, I wanted to share this with you because, you know, moving is difficult. It's a difficult thing to do when you move. We, you know, we've been in this place for about 10 years and changing places, difficult, right? When you change your place, it's difficult. There's a verse that says, Mishane makom. When you change your space or your place, you change your destiny. Very fitting because this week we have our Changing Destiny course, Sunday the 25th. But why, why, why is that so? You change destiny when you change your place. Because it, it doesn't only mean changing your physical location. Changing your space means changing your space over here. Changing your space in your head, your consciousness difficult. Of course, a physical move helps us to change our space in our head. But when we come to a difficult crossroads, it's always an opportunity to jump and change destinies. We'll talk more about that in the course. But suffice to say, I wanted to share this with you, this idea of changing space, because this is what draws energy. We call it the light of wisdom. It's difficult because we, when we have that change and change is uncomfortable change is difficult we're drawing light we should be aware of it and we should say how amazing this is even though it feels difficult it's hard to let go it's amazing why because we're drawing new and positive energy into our life it's an unknown but we know the light is in the unknown what we already know we don't call that light anymore that's already it's old you know Everything which is within the unknown, it's new, it's coming, we don't know what to expect. That's where the greatest light can be for all of us. Be blessed everyone, and we'll see you very soon on the next video. All the best, changing destiny for all of us, for the better.